Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Raquel, aka Look Cute Nurse. Y'all, I'm so sorry. It's 429. 429. Let me tell y'all what happened. I finished my face really about 3.30 and I totally forgot to do the intro. I, it just slipped my mind. So, <laughs> I didn't even bother to go get dressed. It just is what it is, y'all. And I want y'all to see I do have on some clothes here. So, yeah. It's still looking good an hour later. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But if y'all want I really, really do like this foundation. My thing, again, I want to see how it's going to wear. Um, let me tell y'all. I got uh, my concealer way too dark. I got it number seven. So I'm going to just hang on to it and wait for um, all to the bring this concealer out. And then I'm going to go back and get 11 and 12. I figure 11 will be just right. And uh, I mean 11 I probably can mix with this. Probably 10 and 12. I figure 12 will be just right. And 10 I can mix with 7 to make something work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to hang on to this to then. But I did use it so y'all can see it's way, way too dark. More like my skin tone. And then in the concealer, I got the, what is this, Burkini, number 310. That's what I got in this. So this is what I'm looking like, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it is so hot in this room. So like I said, it's only been an hour, and y'all can see, I'm really, that's not shining. I am sweating. Like, it is hot in here. I even turned the air up. This Texas heat is no joke. So... Look at that. And it's only been on for an hour. The foundation ain't moving. Y'all can see the water sitting on it. And we only in an hour. And it's because of all these lights and this Texas heat. I got my hair on 65. Or it could just be me here flashing. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to see how this foundation holds up under it. And uh, yeah, just stick, stick around if you want to see the video. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right. Stay blessed, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Okay guys, in this clip, I'm just using a, a Drunk Elephant Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with SPF for 30. Right here, I'm using the Marad Skin Protect Perfecting Lotion. It's a lightweight or free moisturizer for blemish prone skin, which y'all see I have. This Ole Hendrix, I picked this up in the um, Sephora, the last Sephora sale. And this is just maybe the second time I've used it. And I don't know what I think about it yet. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep using it a little bit to find out. Now I'm going to get ready and uh, fix up my brows. So I can have them ready for my liner. I'm going to put on me a little lip mask to moisturize them juicy lips. That's that uh, um, all natural collagen infused uh, lip mask from KNC Beauty. It's supposed to condition, moisturize, and plump the lips. I hope it don't do too much plumping. That's my Kat Von D uh, Walnut uh, Pomade, Brow Pomade. Well, it's in Walnut. I can't think of the name of that darn pomade right now, but it's by Kat Von D. Getting ready to go in with this ColourPop concealer. It's um, in deep 70. I'm just going to use it to clean up my brows really quick. Cause I always draw over the line, but it's cool because I can always go back in and make that line look just perfect. Hey okay, guys, here I'm going to go in and use my um, uh, Cover FX Power Play Concealer. It's in medium neutral too. That's what I was trying to show you guys. I'm just going to use it to cover up the darkness that's on my eyelids. And I, I just love that brush. I got that brush in a boxy charm box set. So I'm not sure what brush that is exactly. But it works good at blending out my concealers. Really good. I'm going to 
um, use some of my Tatcha, uh, the Pearl Illuminating Eye Treatment. It's supposed to reduce dark um, circles and wrinkles. It's supposed to hydrate the eyes. So I always put it on before I put on my concealer and my foundation. And y'all, it costs $48. So I'm going to use this jar. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Durban Blend setting powder just to set the concealer on my eyelids down. Now we're going to get ready, guys, and go in with the new Juvia's Nubian 3 Coil Palette. I really like this palette. That uh, shimmery silver shade is not as shimmery as it looks, but I like it. Uh, the shimmers in here are, they okay. They're not as shimmery as Juvia's Place's normal shadows. Uh, the bigger pans are really shimmery. They're just a little light shimmery, but they did get a lot more shimmery when I sprayed. You'll see in the video. I'm just going to use some of this brown shadow. There's no names on these guys. So if you pick up this palette and you kind of want to play in your shadows like I do, just look at the, the, the shades. Because uh, if it was on the paper, I threw it away. So Just go back into that same shade that I started with just to blend out the edges so it's not so harsh to kind of blend that burgundy that I stuck in there and to darken it up or that darker brown. Yeah, that burgundy. <laughs> I went a little too fast. I was trying to just blend the two shades together. And don't worry about all the excess that's around my eyes because I'm going to go back. Um, and clean that up so any look is gonna be ugly when you start it just keep on till you get to the end and it's gonna look better I learned that the hard way I decided I wanted to not just do a matte look I want to do some shimmers so I decided to go in and cut this crease using some of the um, cover FX power play concealer not a harsh cut I just wanted my shadows to stand out a little bit more. Okay guys, now I'm going to go back into the uh, Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to get, I'm getting a hold to that orange that's that's right, the second one under the silver. I forgot to hold this up and show it to you, so I tried to clip it. And it wasn't that pigmented, so I went back with the uh, Fix Plus to see if I could make that shiny, glittery looking shadow just really pop, because it's not popping right now. But once that Fix Plus hit it, y'all, it was, it was on. I really like that orange with the Fix Plus added. Okay, y'all, now I'm going into the lighter orange, and I want to kind of put it in the inner corners. And again, it wasn't really standing out. I had to kind of pack it on to get it to kind of show up, but it did. After I sprayed it a little bit, it did. Like I said, these aren't the shimmeriest paddles. These aren't the, they're not the, the shimmeriest I've seen. Julius Face shadows do get a whole lot more shimmerier with this okay guys right here I just took some of that uh, it's like the third from the top it's like a real 
silvery like shadow and I decided to put it on top and right next to that uh, orangey light color because it wasn't really like out there but when I put that silver on it oh wait it was really pretty those shimmers work but you're gonna need to wet your brush you're gonna need to wet your brush so they, they're just not gonna stand out like you expect them to right here I'm going back into the uh, warrior 2 palette again and I just I don't know I like to put uh, some black always in the corners just because it kind of camouflage that hood I have hooded eyes so you don't have hooded eyes you probably could go with that light little brown just to darken it up but I want to kind of make that hood sit back and not so prominent and a black shadow always does that for me I'm gonna go back and just put some of this orange shade from the warrior 2 palette in again just to make that where I cut my crease at just to make it a little more prominent and to blend those shadows in together and I wanted some orange y'all I wanted a little more orange in this look I'm gonna take this shimmery silver here just to go in and put a little pop of highlight now the foundation I have is uh let me get the box. Okay, guys. What I have here is Burkini 305. 3, 310, I'm sorry. 3, 310 Burkini. This is the only one I have, so this is what I got to work with. I messed up ordering on the foundation really bad. I mean, the concealer really bad. I hope I didn't mess up on the foundation as bad. I got my concealer in number seven. And number seven is pretty much my skin tone but just a little bit darker so yeah i'm gonna just wait till it comes out um in sephora and i'm gonna go back and probably get number uh 11 and 12. i'm gonna get 12 so i can mix it with this so i can use it in number 11 because i think that's what's gonna be a good shade for me so we're just gonna pop this on on one side just so we can see the coverage first that's probably too much, but I want y'all to be able to see it too. And this is just my NYA professional makeup brush. Nothing special. Got makeup on it already. Yeah. I'm just blending this foundation out and it blends so smooth. I probably could have went a little bit darker, but I'm gonna get another foundation. I love this this foundation. It's lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I covered them spots and dots. And I don't have any pores peeking through. Okay. All right, it's gonna. It ain't about the coverage, y'all. It's gonna be all about how this lasts. Wow. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me put some more on the back of my hand. And all I did was just put a little dot. And I just went off of that dot. And y'all know I like a lot of foundation. I done had too many comments. Girl, you use too much time to look. This is my damn face. I'm coming up my spots and dots. I know how how well if it has to look like a uh if I'm looking like a porcelain doll, I got to walk around looking like that porcelain doll. You know what? I'm going to see what this concealer looks like if I put it on, just say, to contour it. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work to highlight. But you know what? I'm going to put a couple of dots here anyway. It's a loose. It's a loose concealer. It feels kind of like Too Faced. That's what it feels like. It's not really thick, but it's not really runny. 
And I know that's too dark. So what I'm going to do is mix it with mine. That's why I don't have a problem with getting the wrong stuff. I can make it work. This is my uh, Cover FX Power Play. That's way too light. So if I mix these two together, I ought to come out just right. Because you can tell that's way too light. I'm going to set my face using this Milk Makeup Translucent uh, Powder. I like the powder, but I'm going to be honest. The Too Faced Sweet Peach Setting Powder is my number one setting powder because it's so thin and silky. And I, I'm oily. If you, if you got dry skin, you probably won't like it. I'm oily. And it just does my skin right. For, I can use it for under my eyes and my whole face. And it works so good. It knocked Laura Mercier right out the box for me. I'm going to go ahead and um, use my Ruby Kisses th uh, powder. I mean Ruby Kisses. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and use my Black Radiance um, powder to uh, contour with. I think that shade is Mahogany, if I'm not mistaken. I, I love that powder to uh, contour with. I like the um, Fenty Beauty powders, but this... There's something about that matte black radiance powder that's just, it's good. I'm going to go in with this uh, Juvia's Place, uh, I think it's a Saharan 2 blush palette, and I'm just going to use the orange in there. All right, y'all, we're going to um, contour, well, I contour, we're going to bronze using the Coco Naughty. That seems to work for me because it has a little red in there, and it kind of blends out my black radiance powder and try to beat my nose and you know get it slimmed up a little bit along with the sides of my face now that that coconati works good for that i don't know why it looks so dark but it's not really as dark as it looks I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day um, Black Liner. I like this liner. It dries really fast, but the Kat Von D and the Tarte Man Eater, those are my favorite liners. Oh yeah, and the Fenty Beauty one. Um, I haven't repurchased it, but I really I got it twice, and then I moved on to the the Kat Von D. Well, I got so many of the Kat Von D. It wasn't the Kat Von D. I ordered the Stella. I really like because I had a small sample of it. And it's really, really dark. But I like that Tartis Tartis Pro liner way better. It's got the really dark black eyeliner on the opposite end. It's like a two-in-one thing. That I really like. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in and get these brows right <laughs> real quick using this uh, Benefit Brow. Uh, it says it's a, a brow setter. I like it because the brush is so small. doesn't really put any color in it. Kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Even though you choose the colors or the depth of the shades, it's just not really putting a lot of depositing a lot of color on your brows. It just kind of make your brows stand up and helps get the powder out. Now I'm going to go in with this NARS um, mascara. I'm using this mascara because I have to use it up. I, I really splurged on this mascara. It's not as good as the price. I think we're more, more so paying for the name because it takes a lot of coats. And I, I see thickening but not a lot of lengthening. But yeah. Now this big girl bang, that's the business. If you want bottom lashes get that mascara i've got a backup a mini and this one okay i'm gonna be using these kish lashes i'm just gonna pop them on real quick i just want y'all to see which ones i had on because i knew somebody will you know probably want to know now i'm gonna set my face using this um 
MAC, I think it's lavender setting spray. And the only reason I use it because it's right here next to me. Y'all gotta watch this diva do this fan. You hear me? The girl hit the fan in the slow mo. All right, y'all. I'm going in with the BF4 color pop liner. It came out with uh Makeup Shayla with the Makeup Shayla collection and Color Pop and Makeup Shayla collection. That's the collection it was in. And it's a little darker than the BF3. So I, I really do like it. Um I'm going this is I found it's oh it's really good. The NYX butter lipstick. I was gonna get Rihanna's orange, but I think this orange is a little bit brighter. I know it's brighter than my Becca uh um Poppy. It is hot as booty meat in Houston. It is hot. Yeah, it's, uh, I'll turn the car off. Oh, I'm going to get me some more. Yes, some more crab legs. I don't know what it is. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm trying to stick to this diet. And the uh, crab legs the only thing that I keep eating. Because I won't eat right. Crab legs and salad. So that's the truth. But anyway, this is how this foundation is looking right now in natural light. Get off my face tone. Um, uh, I'm still sweating. The hair had to go. It was too hot. It's not moving. It looks pretty good. So, um, yeah. I think it's like 7 or 6.50, real close to 7 o'clock. So, um, yeah, we'll check in again. Say maybe around 8.39. I might. I'm just going to try to keep it on as long as I stay up. I woke up late, so. Yeah. Ooh. I'm all in my face. I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh, them fire is pretty. Oh. Yeah, that foundation looks good. Ooh, wait. Hi y'all. This is what my face looking like. Y'all see that? I'm getting slick. But my face still on. Let's see, what time is it? 8.51 by the microwave. 8.51. I'm getting slick as a quart can of paint. I'm going to try to make it to 10. So what time was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten will be six hours. I haven't touched it up at all. But to have that much coverage, I expect this. I'll probably touch it up in the last check-in uh, around ten. Right now, you girlfriend to go eat. Yeah, I'm pretty oily, but it's not really breaking up, even in my smile lines. Not really breaking up, but I'm oily as fish grease. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back in here for a quick second. Yeah, I am not going to make it in that room to reset up the filming area. So I just came out on my back patio. I wanted to get a good look at this foundation. I mean, you can see the lines, but it has not separated or broken up. I did not expect this from this foundation, y'all. I'm going to be real honest. I feel like, you know how you put a foundation on? Look, my hair, even, it had to go. The heat was so real. And you saw in the other, the other little clip that I inserted how wet. I was just really sweating. And this foundation did not move. I have not powdered my face not one time. I, I, Julia's face onto something. I got to go get my right shade in the uh, concealer. Because uh, even though I'm shiny, my face is not sliding off. My bronzer, my blush is by gone. Lipstick ate up. But this foundation is still here. Let me show y'all what time it is. Look at here. 
It's 11.13. 11.13. And I think I put this foundation on around, hmm, was it 3.30, 4 o'clock, somewhere in there? Yeah. And it's holding up. It has held up really good. Look at, I mean, wow. Yeah, I can't wait till it comes in the store. I don't know when it's going to be. I don't even know if I will wait. I'm probably going to go. I want a little bit, just a little bit darker shade. And I want to give me two concealers. I don't know if I can wait when I find out when it's coming. Then I'm going to know whether I'm going to order it or not. But uh, I don't know. I need to find out. Because this foundation is going to be my summer foundation. It's not heavy. It's not sticky. It doesn't transfer on my neck. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It's on my collar. That's okay. I ain't mad at it. As long as it do like this. And I just get a little glowy. Okay. I'm talking too much. All right, yeah. I hope y'all had a, a great day. I hope this video helped somebody. Sorry I couldn't do the concealer. Just pick the wrong shades. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to bed. I'm so sleepy. I ate that whole pot of crab legs. I had two pounds of crab legs, which was about four clusters, a little bit over two pounds, and a pound of shrimp, y'all, and I'm out of there. I'm out of there, and a couple of, well, y'all don't need to know about that. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all stay blessed. Bye, guys. Whew. Sleep. Amen.